So this guy actually did an experiment where he went up to a hundred different women and asked them if they would come back to his place to hook up with him, right? So let's 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 take a look at that because I think it's very fascinating how this played out. So this guy says he did an experiment a few years ago where he approached 100 women directly and um, uh, he did this approach, this thing earlier. There was criticism because he didn't end up sleeping within the women. He just kind of said like, hey, he did an experiment where like he was like, hey, would you want to hook up? And they said yes. And he was like, okay, this is just for the experiment. You don't have to actually do it. So therefore, he was like, I don't actually know what the results would have been. Like would the women have actually legitimately come to my place and hooked up with me? So he said, last month, I decided to repeat the experiment. Uh, with a solid opener and actually follow through with a close. He said, I did this for my own purposes because I love to study psychology. Yes, guys, one of the easiest ways that you can start to get more comfortable around women is start studying up on psychology of really everybody, but especially female psychology, female dynamics. The more you understand the female brain, I assure you, it's going to get a lot easier to know what moves they're gonna make. And it's gonna be less annoying when they do certain things because you at least you'll have an understanding. I found having an understanding of women made things less annoying, not completely, but enough to where it's like, okay, like for example, okay, I get why women now go after the so-called bad boys and jerks. Like, you know what? I can be mad at it, but I just, I now know psychologically the things that these bad boys and jerks are doing. I will do those things and be nicer to them and get good results. So. Study up on psychology. It is one of the best things you can do for your dating life and also for understanding people in general. Anyway, this guy said, I only approached the most attractive women I could find and out here in Newport Beach. Oh, he's in Cali? That's what's up. Almost all of the women are extremely attractive. I did not go after um, loose women or ones I thought would be easy. I'm fairly attractive, but I'm not a model or a hot surfer guy like everyone else in town. So this he's trying to prove to you guys, you ain't got to be the, the Brad Pitts of the world or the Denzels of the world to be able to get women to do what he said he's about to do, right? He said, I also did not carry a video camera around with me. So if you think I'm lying, then feel free to go away. So, hey, I'm just going to read what he said. If you decide to believe this happened or not, it's up to you. Let's get into it, right? The experiment. Approach 100 girls and ask for a hookup. Now, I think, by the way, how he goes about this is very slick, all right? Because I, 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 you're gonna get into how he actually did that. So he says, the location, Fashion Island Shopping Center, Newport Beach, California. I know exactly where that is. The rules, the girl must be very hot, nine or higher. Now we know that's all objective, but we're gonna, we're gonna assume whatever his scale is, these are nines or better, all right? Which is good because most guys are too afraid to go to these hot girls and talk to them. They're thinking, oh, I gotta deal with the sixes and the fives so I can't deal with the hotties. Dudes, I'm telling you, some of the easiest girls to talk to are the nines and tens because most guys aren't approaching them. And even though the world sees them as nines and tens, I find most nines and tens to themselves, they don't see themselves as that. And so they can't understand why the world's reacting so weirdly to them. If you go up to them and treat them like a normal person, trust me, you have a good shot at getting hot women. Anyway, and he says the girl must be by herself. All right, here's the opener. I've learned very well that women are not fans of direct proposals, especially when your proposal involves anything that could possibly make them look like a loose woman. My objective was to come up with a way to ask for a hookup without actually doing it. This is key. And what I tell you guys, I've said before, men and women um, communicate differently. Amongst men, we are very direct with requests of each other. With women, they're very passive. Hey, would you mind? I don't mean to bug you. I'm sorry, but I really need to. Like they ask in that way. And so they can get they can get weirded out sometimes when men are so direct. This is why you'll hear women say, oh, I went on a date and he just tried to act, or, or I hooked up with a guy on an app and he just asked me for a hookup. And it's like, it's not they won't, they won't be open to it, but if your method of operandi is to communicate to them as if you're communicating with a guy, then you're not, tapping into the other things that they're going to be feeling with that request. You going up to a woman and saying, hey, want to hook up? It's making her feel like she's a loose woman or that you view her as one. And if she doesn't want to have that reputation, that is not going to be the best way. Not that it can't ever work, but it's not going to be the best way. So you have to do what I call uh, the transitional conversation, which kind of puts you in the back door to be able to get your request out there in a way that's not making her feel like, that's the thing that's directly being asked of her. Even if she intentionally knows like, oh, he's probably asking for the hookup. The fact that you're not doing it so directly will allow her to like play the game of like, oh, well, he just said come over to my place. So it is what it is, right? So let's see what he did. So he goes, me, casual, almost like I know her. He says, hey, how are you? Expected response. Uh, not sure if she should know me. Good, you? 
And then his response is, I'm good. Eyes are up and down. Wow, you look great. Hey, I just got a new place right up the street. Come on over and we'll play shoots and ladders. Now, you may hear that think that is the dumbest. Like you're going to go in public and just ask for a woman, where a woman, hey, come to my place and play games. Well, what do I tell you guys all the time? Like it's, it, you're going to get better results saying to a woman something like, hey, come to my place for like dinner and a movie versus, hey, come to my place to hook up. Like more often than not, that's not going to get you the results. It doesn't allow a woman to have what we call plausible deniability. You see, a woman may be in the mood to actually do the thing you're requesting, but there's still the public facing side of, I have to explain this later to people that I know. If I tell them, hey, if they ask me, hey, how'd you meet that new guy? Well, he asked me to come over to his place to hook up. And I said, yes, bad reputation, reputation, bad results versus, well, I met this guy and he was so cool and awesome. And he said he had a really cool apartment. Now that, that story will still play out as like kind of weird, but at least she's not saying yes directly to a hookup request. She's saying yes to coming over to see a guy's place, to coming over to watch a movie, to coming over to play shoots and ladders. That allows her the plausible deniability of saying, I was just going to go over there to see, he must have had a really good shoots and ladders game. And the next thing I know, I get over there, he's got a really nice place, he's got the wine flowing, and then things just happen. And that's what we want. They want the story of things just happen. Now, some guys will hear that and think, but Harry, if I do that and then she sets me up, it's going to be a charge of some kind. Hey, then don't do it. I'm just telling you what on average works better with women than you trying to be direct with it. All right? So... But and here's the thing, I talk to you guys about how women speak in passive language. When, when you say to a woman, hey, come to my place for shoots and ladders, she knows what you're talking about, guy, because she's already reading passively into what you're saying, because they're used to doing that. So if she, if you say a thing that's not direct, and she reads directly into that as if you're saying, he wants me to come over to hook up, and she does it, congratulations, guy, you won. She got to play plausible deniability, and you got the hookup because you knew how to speak a woman's language. Bravo. So he says, now I know this is not the best opener, but it works way better than, hey, want to hook up? First off, approaching her almost as if you know her will make her curious and bring her guard down. Checking her out and acknowledging it politely will make her aware of your intentions and her desires. And the closing invitation indirectly offers her the chance to have a great hookup something all women desperately want. The subtext is completely clear to them. I've had this happen before. Well, I told you guys about, I, I, back in the day, I would go to parties. I'd, I'd uh, scope out like one woman that I wanted to connect with. And for the next like 30 minutes to an hour, I would peacock around talking to everybody else. I'd be on the dance floor doing dance moves. So that way she knows I'm the guy. And then at some point I'd go up to her and the opening line I'd say is like, man, this fruit punch is great. I wonder where they got this fruit punch from. Or Oh, I haven't heard this song in a long time. But when's the last time you heard this song? Like, it's a nothing burger. It is not, hey, my name is so-and-so. Nice to meet you. Tell me about yourself and blah, blah, blah. Like, that doesn't bode well for her feeling as though you're not a stranger. You want to make it feel as though she's known you a long time and you just coming in with the conversation is going to be easier than trying to be so, um, so proper with it that it seems like this guy's acting weird because he's he's treating me like we never met each other and we haven't, you know? So again, it's a psychological thing, but it works wonders. So what were this guy's results? He says, it took me over three weeks to approach 100 women. How many of them did I actually hook up with? 14. As a guy, that is a, that is a stat. Because, you know, for women, if they just go to a bar and say, hey, somebody take me home and do me now to 100 guys, like 99 of those guys are going home with her and the other one's gay. So, and even he might be like, but can you cook or can you have some makeup? So the point is that yeah, like 14 out of a hundred, that's a really good ratio for a guy to get women, women that he doesn't know, just walking out in public cold approaching to go hook up with them. Now he says that's almost one in every seven girls, not bad for a canned 20 second pickup, 20 seconds, 20 seconds would be like, Hey, how are you? Good. You I'm good. Eyes up and down. Wow. You look great. Hey, I just got a new place right up the street. Come on over. We'll play shoots and ladders. 20 seconds, 14 chicks. Not, not too shabby, right? <laughs> he says, every single one that agreed to come over ended up sleeping with me, and I don't even own shoots and ladders. They didn't even care that he lied. Oh, my God. So he says, of the women who said no, I'm curious to know how many would have said yes but didn't because they were either married in a relationship or had prior obligations. I imagine some of those girls that were probably married probably were like that chick back in the day and would probably be like, this would be a fun little adventure. Sure, why not? So 
He says, common responses of all the women I approached, none, be, none, this is important, right? Of all the women I approached, none became offended or disgusted. In fact, I'd go so far as saying I didn't really get a negative response at all. Most of the no's I got were simple, were simple, no, sorry, or I can't, I'm in a hurry. A few said no, but then asked me for my phone number. So even the ones that said, I'm not going to sleep with you right now, but hey, you're a cool guy. Let me get your number. Also a win. Most of those who said yes were cheerful and eager slash excited to come with me. No pun intended. I also got a few who asked, do I know you? Because, because he went up to them as if they should already know him. To which I responded, no, but you seemed to me like a cool person who might want to hang out or something. Other thoughts. Those of you who still think that the best way to approach a girl is by saying hi, pay attention. Saying hi, introducing yourself, or asking her name right at the beginning of a conversation instantly puts her in a defensive state. What do you want is probably what's going through her head after a stranger randomly approaches and says hi. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I used hi all the time with quite a bit of success, but there's something else that works 100 times better, and that's skipping introductions altogether. I found that to be true on YouTube. Like I found like, you know, in the beginning when I put up little video snippets, I'd be like, hey guys, my name is Harry Wilmington. Thank you for tuning in to the Introvert Dating Success Show. On today's video, we're going to be answering a question from a guy, blah, 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 blah. I found what worked better was just when I when I put up the clips now, it'll just be like, so guys, we had a, a guy wrote me in and he, he said this, hey, dear Harry, so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. Like I found like, the, in terms of the, my metrics on the back of, the, of YouTube, I can see where the drop-off is. And I found that when I'm trying to do a long introduction, the drop-off is swift. Whereas if I don't do an introduction, the drop-off, it, it dips a lot slower. So be mindful, guys. Like you go up to women like, hey, how are you? I don't mean to bother you today. My name is so-and-so. I just wanted to tell you that you're, you've already lost her. Like versus just like, you know, hey, what's up? Or, hey, I'm trying to find a place to go. Like you do better already being in a conversation with a woman when you're going to approach her if you're doing cold approach, you know? So he says, uh, talking about your best, talk about talking to your best friends. He says, um, do you say hi and shake their hand every time you see them? Probably not. Skipping formalities and protocol is the simplest way to make someone comfortable with you almost instantly. For example, here's how I approached a girl earlier today. Him. Hey, have you seen Tropic Thunder? Her. No. Him. It's hilarious. Tom Cruise wears a fat suit. Her laughing. Really? Well, I hate Tom Cruise. Haven't you heard he's crazy? Him. Crazy? <laughs> no way. Haven't you seen Top Gun? He's dangerous, but not crazy. Uh, by the way, I'm Dustin. Her. Sheila. Boom. Met her on a beach. Got her talking, laughing, skipped the introductions, and broke the ice. Uh, he doesn't say if they, if they hooked up or not, but the point is, like, he still got to have a great interaction with that girl, right? So I point this out because, again, I don't want you thinking that you need to be so freaking formal when it comes to meeting women. The reality is that women are out there and they're experiencing guys on a daily basis. And the majority of experiences she's having with, with, with guys is boring and predictable. It's, hey, how are you? Or the guy that's nervous, hey, princess, so I, my name is so-and-so, please, please talk to me. And you come across like, hey, what's up? What's going on, man? Like that kind of energy. She doesn't experience that every day. That energy alone is going to help you greatly when you're out there doing cold approaches to women that do not know you, all right? But I thought that was a nice little, little lesson for you guys on cold approach that hopefully will be effective to you as you go forth trying to attract women. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.